Hi guys, this is Mr. Miller. We're going to make an example boat in on shape for the first time. Uh, here it is in all of its majestic glory. It's not the most handsome boat, but uh, we're just going for some basic skills in on shape overall. Uh, in particular, we're making sailboats. So there are four main parts. We have our hull, we have our keel for stability, we have our mast to hold the sail, and we have the sail itself. Uh, we have a couple of key dimensions. Length can't be more than nine inches long. Our width is 4.5, one popsicle stick, and our height can't exceed three popsicle sticks. Here we go, let's get started. So, in on shape, uh, you should have a screen that looks something like this. Go ahead and click on create and then document, and let's call this example boat. All right, or Bodie McBoatface if you prefer. I'm gonna put V3, you can put V1, V2, V3, whatever you want, but um, you know, just make it something new. All right, uh, so the basics of CAD that's more advanced than Tinkercad is you start with a two-dimensional sketch and then you extrude it into three dimensions, whereas Tinkercad we started immediately with three-dimensional shapes and we added them together. This gives us a lot more flexibility, but it's got a little bit more of a learning curve. So step one, we notice that there are three planes. Each one of these planes is just like the work plane we had in Tinkercad, but now we have three of them because we have more than one uh, dimension that we could sketch on. So um, go ahead and click on sketch in the upper left. Now we're going to click on top. It says select the sketch plane, so we're going to click on top. And in the upper right on this cube, click on the top of the cube, and that will rotate us where we need to be. Okay, once you've done that, well, we know that our boat is a maximum of two popsicle sticks long, so we're going to go ahead and click on the line tool up here, then click on the origin, drag over, press escape on your keyboard, then press the line tool again, go in the opposite direction, press escape. Now we're going to specify the length of these two lines. In order to do that up here, there's a tool called dimension, or you could press D on the keyboard. I'm going to click on this button right there, then I'm going to click on the line. I'm going to make this 4.5 inches long, the length of one popsicle stick, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one, 4.5 inches long. All right, then we want to start to make the hull of our ship. Again, this isn't the fanciest ship. We're just getting started with some basic skills. So we've seen line, but we can do much more than the lines. Over here we have an arc. So we're going to click on three-point arc. Okay, once you clicked on three-point arc, we're going to click on the very end of our first line, and then notice how we get an arc shape. I'm going to drag that down, click somewhere about right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I want my boat to have its arc bending outwards, kind of like that. So I'm going to say a radius. Oops, press escape. Um, if we press the dimension tool, let's give this guy a radius of 2.5 inches. All right, not too bad. Then we're going to take our friend the line tool again. Go ahead and click on the end of our arc. Drag it most of the way over like so. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on the arc tool again and connect the end of that point to our uh, second line that we had made overall. All right, and then I'm gonna press escape, the dimension tool, I'm gonna make this one 2.5 as well. All right, not too bad, so we've created a basic hole shape. Uh, go ahead and press on the green, air, uh, green check mark on the sketch. Then we're going to do extrude, so we're going to make a two-dimensional sketch into three dimensions, the basics of more advanced CAD. All right, and we said that the width of our boat is 4.5 inches long wide, so we're going to make this depth right here, 4.5 inches, press enter. Okay, how did it know to extrude that shape? Well, um, we could, so we noticed that up here, the shape of our sketches outline, but we're going to just click on that and any closed, any closed loop, uh, the software can identify and extrude in a third dimension. All right, go ahead and press the green arrow, green check mark, I mean. Okay, and to move things around, if you hold down the wheel of your mouse and drag over, you can pan, this is panning, and then hold down the right mouse button to rotate our beautiful boat. Oh, so beautiful. All right, and then after we've rotate, go and click on back on the cube in the upper right. Great. We're going to carve out the center a little bit. In order to do that, we're going to 
use the uh, sketch tool right here. So go back up to sketch, then click on this surface we had just found, which was the top of the boat. Then we're gonna go to offset right here, and then just click on the edges of the shape we'd previously made. And since we wanna carve this out, we want it to go inward, so grab this arrow and drag inwards. All right, but we don't wanna to go too far inward, so after you've dragged it inwards, maybe about one inch, go ahead and click on, double click on that dimension. We're gonna set it to 0 0.375, press enter. Okay. And now we have a shape that we can cut out of our previous shape. Press the green check mark. Go to extrude in the upper left hand corner. We're gonna click on our box right there. And notice how it's making a box upwards. We don't want that. So in the left under extrude, click on remove. And looks pretty good to me. We're going to leave it exactly at one inch. That is perfectly fine. Okay, press the green check mark. And now we have a little cavity in our boat. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and on the left hand side, I'm gonna turn off all these unnecessary planes. So it says hide, this little eyeball, click on the eyeball. We're gonna turn off those planes that we don't need. Okay, next thing, click on back on the cube. We're gonna add our mast. So click on sketch, then click on the cavity that we just created, that face of the cavity. Then we're gonna to go to line and hover over the edge of this line right here. And it will automatically snap to the midpoint, the center point of our line. So we just drag over. Okay, what we're trying to do is find the center of this face overall. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I clicked on line. Now I'm gonna hover until it finds the very center. It'll, it'll snap to it. All right, then I'm gonna click on circle, center point circle. I'm gonna click in the very center of those two lines I just made. All right, now I wanna press D on the keyboard for dimension. Click on my circle. I'm gonna make this 0 0.375. All right, press the green check mark. I'm gonna go up to extrude. Now I'm gonna click on that circle I just made. And this is gonna make our mast. Okay, very tiny mast. We want a bigger mast, so let's make this six inches tall. Okay, so we drag this upwards, six inches, press enter, and there we have it, a beautiful mast. Okay, we're almost done. Rotate with the right mouse button, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on back on the cube. All right, one more, couple more sketches. Click on sketch, click on that circle. Now we're gonna draw a quick sketch on top of that. So click on line, click on the center of the circle, drag a line outwards, press escape. Okay, we're gonna dimension this line with D on our keyboard, then click on the line. We're gonna make this two inches long. I'm gonna do the exact same thing in the other direction. Make that two inches long. Okay, then we're gonna use the offset tool. Click on our two lines, um, then just press uh, let's see. Yep, that looks good to me. Uh, let's press on our line tool. And this is a little bit of a chunky mass, but that'll be okay. All right. And we've connected everything. Looks good. You can press enter. Okay. Uh, and press the green arrow. We're going to go to extrude. Click on that rectangle you just made. And we're going to go ahead and drag this downwards. And there we have, press the green arrow, one very chunky boat mast. It may not be beautiful, um, but at least it doesn't float. All right, last thing. We're going to rotate to the bottom, so click on front face. I'm trying to keep this video from being too long. Click on sketch one last time. We're going to click on the very bottom of the boat. Click on line, click on the center points. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and click on rectangle. We want center point rectangle. We're just gonna put it approximately somewhere over here. Okay, don't make it too wide. 
This is for the keel of our boat. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. This is perfectly fine. All right, then press the green check mark, go to extrude, click on the box we just made, and we're gonna drag it downwards. How about 1.25 inches? Press enter, press the green check mark, and we have the beginnings of the keel to stabilize our boat. All right, let's make it a little bit nicer. I pressed on the top on our cube on the side. I'm gonna go to sketch one last time, <laughs> then click on the keel, then go to line. I'm gonna click on this point right here, drag over, click right there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this top line. Click and drag over, it doesn't have to be perfect, we're just copying that line. Then I click on three point arc, I'm gonna click right at the intersection of this point right here. I'm gonna drag it very close to the edge of our heel. Any radius will do, as long as it looks more or less like that. And then we're gonna add one final line to give us a closed loop. Okay, extrude, we're gonna click on, let's see. Uh, we are not extruding outwards. We're going to click on remove. And we want to remove that chunk right there. Once it looks like you've gotten the curved part removed, go ahead and press the green arrow. And we have successfully made our boat. Only last thing to do, click on top view. Now that we have our boat from the side, go ahead and take a screenshot. And then you're going to paste your screenshot right here, just like we've done with our simpler example. Okay, not too bad. Good job, guys. Woo, that was a difficult video. See you guys in class.